Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're making posters. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin. And I'm Amanda Hall. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge, and today we're making posters for our classrooms. And the app I want to talk about is called Sweet Poster. And as you can see, it lets you choose what kind of designs you want to use to set up your poster. So I'll just show kind of some examples. And I'm going to pick this one. And these are the free ones, and below them are paid samples right. that you can uh, actually purchase, but you don't have to for right. this app. The more detail you want, the more it's going to probably cost. So down here is just some of your buttons that you can push. And if you press the little question mark, it'll show you what each of these buttons will do for the app so that you kind of have an idea. Because I was confused at first until I saw this button. So if you click the smiley face, this is where you get to pick all your pictures. And I'm going to pick this picture of, of the cake. And I think this app would be really great for teachers because if you want to do something for parents or for your classroom, you want to just kind of show some of the stuff that you did with the kids, you can make a collage of some of the projects that you worked on and you can share it then later on with your parents if you want to. You can email them so that they kind of have an idea or have some pictures of what went on with their students' classroom this mm -hmm. year. So can you show us how you add text to all of this? Um, if you click down here on, let's see, you can add shapes up here. Mm -hmm. And right here is where you can pick which font you want if you mm -hmm. want to add something. So maybe I'm going to pick this. I'm going to say classroom. And done. And then I can move it wherever I want to mm -hmm. to picture to showcase what we did. Okay, so this one is called? This is called Sweet Poster. Sweet Poster. So the first app I would like to show you is actually called Foster, start with a PH. And in Foster, you actually create posters on a mock wall. So we can create a new poster and we can choose a design. So let's choose, uh, you can see that there are a lot of designs. This is a free app, so it's fantastic. And if we're doing, let's say, a poster for um, a history project. So here you have font prepared. You can replace all of it, but you can also bring out a background. And I've um, taken the liberty of looking for some photos on uh, Nebraska history. And here is some a photo of people in front of a house and we, I can restructure this photo so there's more I can add more so I can go back to my library and bring another one let's say uh, this one and that'll be on the bottom here and then I can go in to the text and actually change the text so American, I don't know if it'll fit here. So we would write history here. And obviously we need to erase what's already there. So we can move this around. We can move any of the objects around. And then when we're done, we click on Next. And we have this poster done. And now you have all kinds of effects that you can choose. So this is the original, but you can have it have this wrinkled paper effect or dusty effect. I think the dusty effect works mm -hmm. for a history for project. project. So now it's printing with all of this dust around. And that's what the final project will look like. Obviously, you can add some content. You can save it. And you can share it. And sharing can be across all kinds of options. So you've got Twitter, Flickr, Facebook, or you can email it, or you can send it to other apps on your device. The next one I want to show you is called DesignPad. And in DesignPad, you actually 
can design different kinds of products that imitate uh, paper and if you start your design you can see that you can have brochures, display ads, fact sheets, flyers, greeting cards, letterhead, etc. So this is a way you can create it electronically and share it electronically as well. And you can see, for example, let's create, um, I don't know, a postcard. So now you can add your photo since we're on a roll with Nebraska history. Let's take another Nebraska history. This is one of my favorite photos, the kids on a horse. And so now I've got my photo and now I can edit my text as well or I can add additional photos and then share it. So if we're done, we can go back into this project and share it. So there are multiple ways to use this to create interesting products. The last one I want to talk about with posters is actually aimed at teachers and the kind of posters you use in classrooms, whether you show them digitally or you hang them around the classroom. And this comes from a website called Teacher's Pet. So this is T-Pet uh, displays. What you can see is that there are featured topics, there are the latest resources they've added, so if you go back again and again and again, this will be a place to start because you know everything else. And then there's what's popular, so there are different ways to look through and find the things that you want. And if you press here, you will get the options so you can, for example, view categories. So, for example, a daily routine posters in classroom environment. So. Uh, here is on the wall calendar and you can see how many people like it so you can view it you can see what it is and then you can copy the URL to download it into your computer or you can download it share it on Facebook or Twitch so there are lots of opportunities lots of materials for teachers to use in their own classrooms whether electronically or print it to paper and use it that way so Today we talked about posters and other paper-like designs that we can turn into digital designs on our devices and either keep them electronically, share them with others digitally, or print them to paper. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.